just want to go over the rest of this because I just love this. I just love showing you the artwork. Maybe you don't have any interest, but obviously, uh, you know, I do. Yeah, punk. Yeah, you long hair punk. Uh, like, yeah, these violent delinquent comics where these guys are always fighting. They like to always have a twig in their mouth uh, to show they don't give a fuck. And it's like extremely, like, yeah, they're gambling, they're beating each other up, you know. Of course, this is who that's Osama Tezaku. This is Blackjack. This is the 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 Maverick outlaw surgeon. He'll do the surgeries and the medical treatments that no one else that won't be allowed. He'll do it for someone who's desperate. Very interesting. So you had you had the opposite of this guy the last couple of years. Cat's uh, Eye, my late fiance. She had the Taiwanese versions. Cat's Eye, of course. The three sisters were the jewel thieves, and which they made into a manga, into an anime. Uh, I think the guy that the city hunter, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name. The city hunter guy. This was his first comic. So, hey, what's up? Leica in Thursday. Yes. Uh, oh. So this, this, I want to show you like just cool artwork. I don't know from the size. Oh, Monkey Punch, Lupin the Third. Although that's not Lupin the Third, but I can recognize his art style easily. Yeah, look at that. Look how cool. Look at this. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. Yeah, going through. You know, trying to get to the end. Uh, more going to guy. Going to yeah. Yeah, this is Gorilla High School. But I, Gorilla High School is like no one knows about that. It's one of his earliest ones. So it's basically in the in the uh, in the future. Like there's all these riots in schools, and so the teachers become like dictators. But like the teachers are allowed to execute you, and they have weapons, and they have like little they have like little uh, uh, like death squads. So like the kids go a step further, and they start forming like terror cells while they're going to school. I, I just I cannot the, the 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 parallels to that in this country. But just like the craziness of it is what I love about the Japanese, uh, you know, the manga, especially the older stuff. I mean, the newest stuff, you know, uh, it's just, it's just, I don't know, man. And of course, Leiji Masumoto, of course, Star Blazers, oh, Space Cruiser Yamato, right? Galaxy Express, right? With what's her name? Uh, was Buichi Tarasawa, Space Cobra. And he died recently too. Space Cobra, man. Remember this? So, and uh, yeah, Sy this is more. Uh, no, who is that? That's not Shatari Shinori. That's yeah. This is all boys comic stuff still. But now you get like you know uh, more samurai. You get the, oh, you get yeah, Leiji Masumoto. All his war stuff. I gotta find that at the cockpit. Uh, and all these other stories. Tiger on the Rhine. I want to get my hands on that story. Leiji Masumoto did all these war stories basically about the Japanese and the Germans. Okay, you know, the Germans were characters shown with a lot of respect by, by uh, Matsumoto. Although, I guess no Italians. But, and there's a T-97 getting, the Hago getting knocked out. You know? And uh, you got uh, just like the cool, I remember, dude, remember this? This is one of the first mangas that was actually translated in the 80s. I remember this, Area 88, Shinkazama. I remember too, I was like, Shin, Shin, he's Japanese, but he has blonde hair. Right, come on, come on. I remember too, it took place in the Middle East. These were mercenary pilots helping a kingdom. And I remember the cool cat, there's an American character, uh, there was a Japanese character who was like a reporter that didn't like the guy. He goes, I don't like Americans. And the American guy was like, okay, I don't care, I don't care. Uh, and really, I mean, of course, the guy drew like, act, like, like the old Japanese always like to do, Leiji Masumoto, the, they like to draw the tech stuff, the mecha, uh, you know, not just, you know, in terms of mecha, not just as giant robots, but, but they want to draw the most accurate weapons of the time the, to the schematics, you know, Murafumi, uh, Kubayashi, all these guys, oh, very big on detail, right? They, you know, because you have to remember, Japanese are huge model fans, uh, and huge, huge military historian fans. They are not going to take something that doesn't look... Like in American comics, I routinely see World War II stuff where they, they decide to draw the tanks like... 
I remember one comic years ago where they just drew like Abrams tanks as Nazi tanks. Somebody should got a should have got a beaten for that. So I'm something I'm serious, but anyway, I just remember eight, Area Eighty Eight. No one really remembers it now. Uh, going through here, oh, you got the oh, you got the fishing manga. Oh, catfish. I like catfish actually. Okay, there's nothing like wild. There's nothing like fresh caught catfish. And he's just heading out. Just getting to the eighties. You know, always it's always the eighties, isn't it? Huh. Uh, trying to see anything here of note. When I finish this addendum, I just wanted to show you some cool artwork, cool stuff. You see the the, the genre. American comics were like this at one point. They had the craziness. They had the different genres. You know, but there was an element in the American comics that you didn't have in Japan. And I don't have to tell any of you what that was. I think you know. But, um, what is this? Oh, that's, uh, that's Masami Kurumura, right? So, the guy who created Saint Seiya, he also grew, drew a lot of boxing comics early on. Of course, Saint Seiya essentially is like martial arts, boxing comics with uh, mythical Greek gods. And uh, look, Pink Lady. Do you remember? I remember. Yo, you're going to laugh. Or oh, say Yasura. What's the name? What's that woman's name? I remember that. The one that made Ram the one half. But or say Yasura. Those obnoxious aliens. And of course, you know who that is. Rest of Akira Toriyama. Dr. Slump. So you start to see now in the 80s. But Pink Lady, I remember that stupid show. I remember watching, I think, two episodes of this on when it came out. With my first stepfather. Remember my first stepfather... Telling me, uh, Pink Lady and Jeff. He goes, yeah. And I'm like, Pink Lady? He said, yeah, they're Japanese. They're Japanese. They don't speak English. And I was like, oh, the ja why don't they speak English? You know? Because uh, they don't. He goes, you know those movies you watch, they don't speak English either. Somebody talked, somebody made an English voice for them. I was like, what? You know, I was, I was like five. It was like still the late 70s. So anyway, um... The, the idea of dubbing, oh, when they when they talk, their lips don't match up. Oh, no, you know that stupid shit, fucking morons. I remember, remember these things. What are these toys? Muscle? What are they called? I remember these things. The little rubber toys. They were like all these crazy looking pro wrestling dudes. Uh, anyway, uh, what is this? You got the uh, what the hell is that? Of course, you always know this. The woman in Japan. Uh, when, when the woman tries to hide as a boy, she always has to do this. Okay, now apparently they do this for real. <laughs> for, uh, for, uh, oh God, take me back! Oh wow, look at that! You know, sushi man. Now back then, remember to, now in America, I remember. You know, here we go in the eighties when you actually had a sushi restaurant in Brooklyn. Right? Anyone remember Makami's right in Bay Ridge? That guy, Mr. Makami, was cool as hell. Man. This guy was had had to do it the hard way. He apprenticed under these dudes, man. All right, now you go to a sushi uh, hibachi place. They're all Chinese. Okay, no no disrespect to the Chinese, but uh, you know you should have Japanese doing that. So, like I guess that's the cooking wine. So it's weird though. Now you have advertisers. So that was this. I just wanted to show you a bunch of stuff. I wanted to nerd out or or t get the tism in full effect. And just, you know, I appreciate good artwork for, like, you know, 97% of this stuff, which I'll never see. Give me a little insight into the last half century of the manga. Uh, and, uh, what's this on the back? Yeah. Oh, an ad for whiskey. Wild turkey. You know, I never had wild turkey. Oh. <coughs> Bourbon. They love their whiskey, the Japanese, man. So... But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to share this with you. I probably bored a lot of you, but, uh, you know, I, 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 there's a lot to hate about comics. There's definitely a lot to hate about the industry. And there's a lot to hate about, or a lot to dislike about how some of it developed over the years. But the art form, in my opinion, is up there with anything, and I fucking mean that, I mean that, so, anyway, sayonara.